What's going on everyone, my name is Marco, and today I'm going to bring you guys another unboxing. This is going to be of the Thermaltake View 27 Snow Edition computer case. And before I get into that, I just want to go ahead and thank all my subscribers and my viewers for all the views and the subscriptions. I really appreciate that, you guys. Thanks a lot. We're almost at 150 subscriptions, so keep the subscriptions coming, guys. Uh, there'll be a lot more videos uh, like this with uh, tech reviews, unboxings, and things like that coming in the future. So I appreciate the subscriptions and the view, guys. And uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into the unboxing. All right, guys, so here's the box right here. This is how I got it in the mail. It wasn't in any other kind of box at all. The uh, shipping information was on this box right here from Amazon. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit sketchy there because I'd rather be in a box that way people don't see it as they're walking by your house and all that, but that's a different kind of issue there. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right into this unboxing here. Gonna, gonna go ahead and grab my knife here and open this up. Had this box for quite a few months. I have yet to actually open this thing. I've been waiting for uh, a build to do in it before I actually went ahead and opened it. So hopefully everything's in here. We're a little bit past the uh, return window now for sure. It's been about five months or four or five months, something like that, since I uh, received this in the mail. So let's hope everything is all good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this on the ground real quick just so I can kind of kind of sort of pull it out of here if possible. All right, so it felt like the longest unboxing battle I've ever been through. Uh, here it is, finally out of the box here. Uh, so this is what it's gonna be like as soon as you slide it out of the actual cardboard it comes in. You're gonna have this uh, kind of styrofoam pad in here. It looks like it does a pretty good job of uh, making sure this thing stays put in its box here. So we're gonna go ahead and discard all of that and uh, see what we can find in here. All right, so I was able to get all the styrofoam out of the way. Uh, inside of the styrofoam was this uh, Thermal Take U27 user manual here, so it's probably going to go through uh, the different types of things that come with it and uh, what it can accommodate as far as graphics cards and probably what's going to be important, uh, well probably more the motherboard side of things is going to be the, the uh, cables I have to plug in for the front I.O. panel and all that stuff here. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, set this aside too because we don't really need that at this time. And yeah, so here it is here. Go ahead and get it out of its plastic. Looks really nice already. I've been really wanting to get a white case for a while here. It's been pretty cool here. So it's definitely more of an expensive case. Uh, like I said, I ordered it quite a few months ago, but I think it was about $100 or $95, something like that. Can't remember for sure now, but something along those lines there. So here's going to be the uh, case itself. We'll go ahead and pull off the side panel here. I do want to point out that the um, this side panel here is actually going to go all the way up to the top, as you guys can see here. It's going to kind of uh, go up there so you can look down into the build as well. Thermal Take seems to have some cases like that. They have another case that's kind of like all open on the sides. I, I forget the name of it, but kind of they like showing uh, the inside of the build a lot. They like to feature your components. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the front I.O. panel here. We're going to pull all this stuff off. And everybody likes... Uh, these parts of videos I do myself, so I'll go ahead and be quiet for this. All right, so we got that front one off there. We'll go ahead and go ahead and pull this uh, one off of the side panel. All right, all right. So looking at the front here. We immediately see just how clean this case looks. It comes with four uh, white ring fans in it, so that's going to look uh, pretty nice there. So this looks like it's going to be our power button or maybe reset switch. This one of these is going to be uh, either of those things. I'm not sure which one is which just yet. Got these little plugs in here that uh, I don't really need to pull out at the moment, but uh, to plug these things up during transit, it looks like. So that's nice. They went the extra mile there to make sure that debris doesn't get caught up in here so much so that I can't even get it out right now. But worry about that later. So this is a heavily tinted uh, front right here that you might not even really be able to see through, quite honestly. But uh, but it's really nice looking. It's got some honeycomb in there. So we'll go ahead and turn this back aside here. And the back right here is going to have multiple expansion slots here for uh, graphics cards and among other things. And it even has uh, two slots right here for one graphics card so you can actually put it sideways if you're into that kind of stuff. 
I know some people like that there, so they can go ahead and look at the graphics card um, from the bottom, like where the fans are, be facing outward. So that's pretty cool there. I might look into that myself. I'm not really sure just yet what I'm going to do with that. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what, what the interior looks like. So it's probably going to slide back and then off like a normal side panel would. All right, sweet. Got that off there. So here's the side panel itself. We'll go ahead and pull off this uh, stuff inside as well. So that's out of the way there. All right, so that's moved aside. So the inside of the panel looks pretty nice. The uh, panel's kind of screwed on. Uh, so it's got some nice holding kind of power there. And it might be glued partially as well, but I don't see any glue, at least upon my initial inspection here. So it looks like it's gonna be screwed together here. So that's nice. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and set this aside. And go ahead and see what else is uh, in the case. So everything comes somewhat neatly wrapped together here. Definitely a nice work area, I'm going to admit right away, because uh, this being open right here really lets you kind of get involved with what you're doing here. The front of this case over here has a lot of uh, mesh grills here. Looks like some kind of like dust shields for the inside of the case as well. So that looks pretty nice as well to me. The rear fan does not have any sort of uh, dust shield on it, it looks like. But the fans, like I said, do have the LED ring around them, uh, which you can see real quick. Uh, yeah, so we'll open up the other side of the case as well. So we can go ahead and see what's on the back side of this bad boy. Alright, so now this is all off here, so let's go ahead and spin it back around. Definitely a lot lighter without all the panels on it, for sure. Definitely added some weight to it. Yeah, so here's going to be the... Uh, other side of it here, this looks like, looks like, I'm not 100% sure, but this could be an SSD holder, maybe not, maybe for something else, it doesn't say on it what it's for, maybe it does, no it doesn't, not sure what goes in there, but uh, anyway, so over here, this actually does say HDD SSD here, so you just kind of squeeze these tabs here, and it slides right out, and it has a little box of what's probably going to be hardware, let's go ahead and check that out real fast. I don't want to spill it all over the floor, so we're just going to take a quick look. Okay, we got a bunch of zip ties in here. Uh, we've got a PC speaker in here as well, it looks like. Just a whole bunch of like screws and hardware and stuff like that. Let's see if there's anything else that looks a little different in here at all. Oh, we've got some Molex to uh, fan headers uh, adapters here, it looks like, as well. Looks like it's got two Molex adapters, or... Uh, and three fan adapters. I'm trying to see for sure. Okay, it's separated. So it's got one Molex here, two, uh, two fan cables, fan connectors, bunch of zip ties, and then another one of those Molex to fan uh, connectors there. So it's going to have four uh, fan header connectors. So that's a pretty cool thing there. So we'll go ahead and set all that there for a moment. And then we've got another. Uh, bay right here for another hard drive or SSD, something like that, whatever you want to put in there. That's pretty nice. So this is all hidden, which I really like about this so far. Definitely a nice little feature there. I can't remember how it was in there. I should have uh, observed that before I messed with it. But that was my bad. Alright, figured it out there. Alright, so... Also on this side, you're going to see uh, the room for the power supply down on the bottom right there. So this can fit quite a large power supply. Not sure exactly how big it is. It's got this kind of foam padding right over here on the end, on the uh, other side here that you can't see really from the other side, obviously. But overall, it looks pretty nice. It's got this empty space up here as well. Uh, probably, can't really imagine what that's for, honestly, up there. But uh, maybe we could put something in there, more cable manager, perhaps something like that. So we'll go ahead and pop off this front panel here and see what we have on that side of it. I did also want to point out that according to the user manual here, if you wanted to install a radiator up front, you have to remove this little piece right here. So that looks like this right here, so that allows the radiator to actually fit. So I just wanted to point that out there so you guys could see that as well. Alright, so here's the front panel actually removed here. So as you can see, it is very tinted, but you can see through it. It's got that honeycomb. Uh, on the other side, you can see it as well. It's got a lot of open... Uh, open air kind of holes on the sides with a lot of uh, kind of filters there for dust. We've got a whole bunch of front panel I.O. here. We've got our 
uh, USB 3.0 here. We've got our HD audio, our USB headers, and then we've got, of course, our uh, power cable and uh, activity light cables there. So that's what the front panel looks like. And then, as you can see here, we've got our three uh, fans here. I believe they're 120 millimeter fans, or they might be 240. Or I'm sorry, 140, but I think they're 120 millimeter fans. Uh, they have the LED ring around them as well, and uh, all that good stuff in there. So, yeah, guys, that pretty much sums it up. Honestly, I mean. We've got all the fan headers here, I mean the fan connectors here, so that'll all go into the Molex adapters that we saw previously, and then we've got one for the rear fan as well. The rear fan looks like it's about the same size. The one for our rear fan is going to be right here, hanging off, ready to go. So uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much going to sum up my video here, I appreciate you guys watching, remember to subscribe, uh, there'll be more stuff like this coming up, this, this uh, case will be featured here in my upcoming video of my Ryzen build I'm going to be doing in it. Uh, so yeah guys, that pretty much sums it up. Thanks a lot.